Hey there, fearless followers. It's Josh, and I'm here with your word of the day. And um, here we are, Monday morning, looking at the the book of Ruth, looking at chapter four, where uh, Boaz has immediately gone into town. He wastes no time. He goes to find the kinsman redeemer. Goes to the city gates and. As he arrives at the gates, the redeemer, the other redeemer walks by. This other man, this younger man in in town walks by. And then Boaz gets him and he gets 10 elders and they sit down and Boaz is setting it up to have this pretty serious discussion about, about redeeming Naomi and Ruth. And uh, the whole thing takes place at the city gates. Um, the city gates were that's where, where where commerce happened that's where business happened that's where um, the the judges of the city would sit and rule on cases and hear problems and concerns it was also the place uh, in israel where god's people um, made the mission of god happen it was where they greeted in those who were on the outside and that's going to play a pretty significant factor in this conversation because remember Ruth is from Moab okay she is an enemy of Israel she's a Gentile and um, and Boaz knows this and everybody else knows this and uh, and so that's going to play a part here and, and when we're going to see really the difference between two hearts in this story early on We'll see the heart of Boaz for Ruth, regardless of her background. Uh, and we'll see the, the heart of this, this other redeemer and how he feels about Ruth being from Moab. And I don't want to give it all away, but there's going to be a stark difference between the two. And, um, and there's a few things that stand out to me as we, as we read this, this first this first passage in Ruth 4. The first is that Boaz is a man of his word. He says it, he does it. He makes a promise, he follows through. That's a pretty remarkable, that's a pretty mar- remarkable characteristic in and of it. And we could talk a lot. We could talk a lot about that. Um, but the other, the other component is Boaz is super wise. And, uh, and not only does he make good on this, but uh, he, he has a way of, of navigating this conversation to be very specific about what is entailed in redeeming the family and what is ultimately going to be best for Naomi and Ruth. And um, so today, as I read it, one, um, I have a personal uh, kind of reminder to make good on the promises that, that, uh, that I make to keep the promises that I make and follow through and don't dilly dally about it. Um, that's something I'm going to work on uh, along with trusting God today because Christy's starting school. And so that's nuts. Um, but, uh, but that's my takeaway, um, uh, for that. And then also, um, just to continue reading this story and seeing what happens. I'm excited. It's going to be a cool, you, I've, I've read it before. You're going to love the ending if you haven't read it. Um, but this is, this is going to be a cool couple of days as we, we really dive in to see the glimmer of hope that God has for Ruth, Naomi, Boaz, Israel, and even, even the world. But we'll get to that. Peace.